Greetings. Hope you're all well. What I'm presenting today is a simple Argo CD example featuring OpenShift templates, Helm, and Customize. You all know what Argo CD and OpenShift are. Argo CD is a declarative continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes. And Red Hat OpenShift is a hybrid cloud enterprise Kubernetes platform. We know what they are, but what are OpenShift templates? If you go to the developer catalog of the OpenShift console, you will see the 140 plus services that you can deploy using the console. There are services in categories including CI/CD, databases, languages, middleware, etc. These services are deployed using OpenShift templates. In other words, OpenShift templates provide you a simple way to deploy services by just a few clicks of your mouse. And in our case, issuing a few commands using the OpenShift OC command. The OC command offers the same capabilities as the queue control or sometimes called queue cuddle command but it is further extended to natively support OpenShift container platform resources. As I said earlier, my Argo CD example uses OpenShift templates, HAM, and Customize. Instead of creating a long video, I'm breaking up the materials into three parts. Part one, deploying a MySQL database using an OpenShift template. Part two, deploying ham charts with Argo CD. And part three, utilizing customized with Argo CD. Part one, deploying a MySQL database using an OpenShift template. OpenShift templates use deployment config. So what is a deployment config? It's very similar to the Kubernetes deployment object but it persists the Kubernetes deployment object. It has been deprecated in OpenShift 4.14. Well, if that is the case, why are we still using deployment config? We are using deployment config because OpenShift templates use deployment config. Remember that OpenShift templates provide 140 plus easy to use services from the OpenShift console. So they are still available uh, for some time to come. Also, deployment config has features not found in deployment, for example, lifecycle hooks. But since it has been deprecated, remember, use deployment instead of uh, deployment config, unless you are using OpenShift templates. This is the OpenShift console. If you are on the administrator tab, and you want to access the developer catalog, click on it and switch to the developer view. Click on add and then all services. All right. This is the developer catalog. I'm going to use the uh, MySQL uh, database with persistence. Not that I want to deploy it using the uh, uh, OpenShift console, I'm just going to show you uh, what sort of uh, parameters you have to enter before you can create a MySQL database using uh, the catalog. In other words, using OpenShift template. Now, let me click on databases. There are two MySQL templates. One, This one is with persistence. The other is ephemeral. So I'm going to use the MySQL with persistence. If you click on instantiate template, you can see that uh, well, there are a number of uh, parameters you have to enter. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, after this, this particular screen, uh, the OC command, using the OC command line to actually retrieve that information, what parameters you have to enter in order to create a OpenShift template. Now let us look at the OC commands that deals with OpenShift templates. First of all, let's do this. 
list all the templates. I bet you don't know that you can use OpenShift templates to deploy a virtual machine on OpenShift. For those who are, who are aware that uh, OpenShift have an operator called the OpenShift virtualization operator, uh, you can install it and then run virtual machines on OpenShift. It is because virtual machine is one on a port, so that's why you can use uh, the existing uh, uh, YAMLs uh, on deployment, deployment config, etc., to actually deploy the uh, uh, virtual machine. Let's look at some other variant of the command. For example, if you're looking for the MySQL OpenShift template, you can like pi it through a grip on MySQL. You see that this is the one that we want to use. Say the MySQL persistence. That is what we want. That's the OpenShift template that we want to deploy MySQL on OpenShift. And you can do a, a large number of variants on, on this as well. For example, if you uh, do OCGET template and then pipe through WC-L, you'll find that there are actually 147 of these OpenShift templates. Remember when I show you the uh, developer uh, catalog, when we look at the uh, MySQL template, you need to enter like a certain parameters before you can deploy it. So how do we find out regarding the parameters from the command line? You can say OC process dash dash parameters, MySQL persistent, dash and open shift. Let's look at what you get. So you have to define the memory limit, namespace, database service name, etc. exactly as what you, you've seen in the uh, uh, catalog. Now say I want to deploy it, so that means I have to specify the uh, values for these uh, parameters. So I have done that in a file called mysql.env. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So I'm setting the memory limit to 512 megabytes and so on and so forth. And the uh, mysql user is SA, that is your uh, mysql login user, and the password is SA. Uh, I'm setting this MySQL information like uh, to align with the, the application that I'm, I'm about to uh, deploy. So let's get back to this when the time comes. So I just uh, show you what's next. Now, say you want to uh, generate all these uh, YAMLs for the, for, to be used to deploy the MySQL database, you can use this particular command. So what I'm doing now is I'm asking it to process to provide the uh, output as a YAML file, like uh, passing in the parameters that I showed you earlier, and then like uh, redirect that to a file called uh, uh, mysql.yaml in the temp directory. Let's look at it, what happens. So we can see that now it's finished. Let it, let's look at that uh, YAML file. So if you look at it, so this particular file consists of uh, four different uh, separate YAMLs, uh, one for the secret, one for the surface, and then one for the uh, persistent volume K because uh, we're using persistent uh, 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 data, so we need to have a persistent volume K. And it's, of course, it's using deployment config. 
since all of the OpenShift temp, uh, templates use uh, deployment config. So this is what it generates. Remember that I want to actually use a specific feature uh, in deployment config that is uh, including a, a lifecycle hook so that I can actually initialize the database uh, with a schema. So to do that, I have to actually uh, add something to this generated uh, YAML file. So in here, I already done that. Uh, so this is the name of the file that I have uh, actually modified to include the lifecycle uh, hook. So I actually done this. I did. I have done this using the ham, which I uh, uh, show you in the sec part two of this particular uh, video series. Let's look at this modified uh, MySQL YAML. So this is the part that I have to add in order for it to uh, uh, initialize the uh, database with a schema. So first of all, I download the uh, uh, schema to the container, and then I just uh, log in using uh, my SQL, just pass it the schema so that uh, well it will create the uh, schema in the uh, relational database now we have everything ready for actually provisioning it so let's clear this and make sure i'm in, in the right uh, namespace oc project so I want to deploy it in the uh, namespace of project called OCP template demo. So what I need to do now is OC apply MySQL Let's have a look at uh, how's it doing. Um, OC get running computer so the uh, database is already running now I want to log into uh, the MySQL database to look at uh, its database schema so uh, again I, I need to re retype this command OC get port so this is the MySQL port that I need to log into. So I just use the OCLSH. And then I want to talk to the MySQL database. Remember the user login name is uh, SA and the password is also SA as, in, as I said in the MySQL.env file. So let's look at uh, let's look at the databases that has been created. Show databases. So you can see that is a, a database called Spring Session, which I use to uh, uh, record all these uh, session data, so that you can uh, recall some of this uh, information, the parameters you enter for the uh, for the application, uh, which I haven't actually talked about yet. So that will come in part two. Now let's use the look at the Spring Session database schema. What's in that schema? Like what tables are there? Show tables and then Spring Session or Spring Session uh, attributes. Let's see what's it's is the schema, uh, schema looks like. Okay, you have all these uh, fields in there. Uh, do the same for Yep, that proves that the schema has been created. In the uh, next part, I'll be talking about how to use 
Helm together with uh, Arco CD to do a deployment of an application that requires uh, MySQL database. Until then, take care.